Welcome! This is another video that highlights the writing macro skill. This is all about personal and factual recounts. At the end of this video, you should be able to identify features of personal and factual recounts. We love sharing our own shocking, embarrassing, funny, and inspiring stories with others. From these stories, we get to import meaningful lessons that we can learn from as they are real experiences. When we tell a story, we are also telling a recount. A recount is a retelling of an event or an experience. Often, it is based on the writer's own experience or an event that the writer witnessed. The purpose of this text is to recall the event and provide readers with details about it in order to inform or entertain them. There are two types of recount texts, personal recounts and factual recounts. A personal recount provides information regarding an event or a series of events that the author experienced. On the other hand, a factual recount provides information regarding an event or a series of events that the author was not involved in but may have witnessed or heard about. Specifically, a personal recount is based on the author's personal experiences, but a factual recount from the word itself is based on facts. Since personal recount is subjective, it uses first-person point of view. And since a factual recount must appear unbiased, it uses a third-person point of view. Personal recounts may in the form of a diary, autobiography, or biography, while factual recounts may be found on newspaper articles, historical events, and news broadcasts. For example, when a student states his or her experiences on online distance learning, he or she is giving a personal recount. But when a student gives out the different plans and programs that his or her school is doing to conduct online distance learning, it is an example of a factual recount. Let's dig deeper on the differences of the two types of recounts by reading this example. My family and I went to see the Philippine International Pyro Musical Competition at the SM Mall of Asia last February. When we arrived at the venue, we saw a lot of people patiently waiting for the show to start. We went to our designated gate and tried to get it to a good location to see the show. The show started with a pyro musical entry from London. The pyrotechnics showed different images such as hearts and diamond-like fireworks as the sound system played diamonds by Rihanna in the background. The crowd cheered loudly and my siblings danced to the tune. South Korea went next. Their entry showed bright and differently colored fireworks while Gangnam Style by Psy blasted from the speakers. The audience cheered happily as soon as they heard the song and saw how beautiful the fireworks were. After the show was over, I saw the audience chattering happily about how fascinating the fireworks were as they left the venue. It was a fun night for us. My family decided to see the pyro musical competition again next year. In order to identify the type of recount, you need to first identify what the text is all about. This text is all about the author and his or her family's visit in the Philippine International Pyro Musical Competition. Next thing to do is to identify the point of view. The author used the pronouns my, I, us, and we. These are personal pronouns which are used to indicate the author's personal connection. Therefore, this text is an example of a personal recount. Let's have another example. Metro Manila, a passing pedestrian saved a dog from getting run over by a car near an intersection last Friday afternoon. It was said that the dog, a corgi, ran away from its owner, Mark Walsh, after seeing a truck that had a large picture of dog treats on its body. The owner chased after the dog, but he could not keep up with it. When it got to an intersection, a pedestrian, Sophie Cricket, caught the dog just in time before a car drove by. The pedestrian then returned the dog to its owner. Walsh thanked Cricket for saving his dog from potential danger. According to Cricket, she saw the dog running across the intersection, and she managed to catch the end of its leash and pull it toward her just in time before the car passed. She also said that she was happy to help and urged Walsh to be more mindful of his dog's safety next time. Again, to identify the type of recount, you first have to know what the text is all about. This is all about a passing pedestrian who saved the dog from getting run over by a car. Aside from this, the text also indicates that the author is not included in the incident through the signal words, it was said, and according to Cricket. 
Since this is written in the third-person point of view as it appears to be a news report, this is an example of a factual recount. Since we now know the difference between a personal and a factual recount, let us now discuss the different things we need to remember in writing recounts. First, use the past tense. Since the event has already happened, use the past tense in writing the text. Second, provide a clear introduction. This way, readers will have a clear idea of what event you are retelling. Third, write what happened in chronological order. For the readers to follow the story easily, start with what occurred first, followed by what happened after that, and so on. Fourth, use logical connectors. Signal words such as first, next, meanwhile, after that, and finally, help in establishing the progression of events and the flow of your ideas. Fifth, Use adjectives and adverbs. To provide detailed descriptions and help readers visualize what happened, use adjectives and adverbs that best fit the story you are trying to retell. Lastly, use more specific verbs. Doing so will help readers have a clearer idea of the actions that happened. For example, instead of making use of the word said, you may write whisper instead. That's it for our video on personal and factual recounts. For more videos on the different types of texts, please check the description below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English lessons. Thank you!